goodness, with face, pat, and tiz. Is it open season on athletes right now by the media and fans? Is it like they're targeting athletes right now? Like, what is happening? Um, I personally don't know, but these people are acting like monkeys. Yes. In, in the past, like, maybe two, three weeks, there's mm. been at least four to six incidents of fans attacking players with foreign objects, spitting, giving or using mm. extremely uh, violent or obscene and racist language. Like, um, I'm going to start with the NBA, but it goes so much further than that. Um, with the NBA, like, is there anything that the NBA can do to stop these rabid fans? Like, because I feel like that's why I'm really seeing it a lot. Of, like, they are going fucking nuts. I know something they could do. Like, if I was I an athlete, I I'd come to the stadium ready to, like, throw down every night. Like, because I'm like, at what point can you defend yourself? They beating the shit out of people. With I, shit. I know what they can do. All those restrictions that the NBA placed into play after the Pistons went cuckoo, the Pistons and the Paces went cuckoo. Take all them restrictions back. I guarantee them fans calm their ass down once the first player running got them fans and punch them out in their face. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's, true. That's true. Do you do do you remember anybody throwing shit else into the crowd after that shit happened for a long time? No, because everybody realized these six six motherfuckers will come out here and put foot to ass. Yeah, foot yeah. ass was put. Well, it, was a, it was a lot of footage to <laughs> assage. It was a lot of footage to assage. <laughs> For sure. You feel me? <laughs> Bro, a no, whole it's heap of it. Woo. Yeah. Metal world peace. Stack Let these Jack. giants loose. Yeah. Let these giants loose on these fans real quick. See let these, these hands, professional boom. athletes. You, you feel me? Let, let, let them loose. I guarantee you won't nobody throw shit else. Big fact. I think the, uh, two basketball teams in the crowd and, and go crazy. I, I think the dude that um that tossed his popcorn at Westbrook, I think he got um banned from come going there or whatever. So that's one that's little thing. Like, but it's like it's now it's getting yeah, to the get point where people just doing man. it to get the attention now. Like, oh, they're gonna put me on sports. Mm-hmm. They're gonna be talking about me. Let me throw this at him. And, and when, mm-hmm. at some point, it's going to get to the point where, like, you're going to have a malice in the palace because it's going to be dangerous. You feel me? But yeah. It's going to be dangerous. It'll be very dangerous. But, um, they ain't going to, I put it like this the NBA ain't going to do nothing. The NBA ain't going to really, really do nothing until somebody throws something at LeBron. Because LeBron probably do something. Yeah, I can't debate that. That, 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 that actually sounds spot on. <laughs> Pretty much. And so something throw something at LeBron and it's on videotape on camera and they got him disrespected because to them, disrespecting him is like disrespecting the league. How That's dare real. you throw That's something real. at him? How dare you do that? These other little black kids and black men, they throw stuff at, oh, he's just a player on the team. But LeBron. Not LeBron. Come on, man. <laughs> I mean, I'm just being real. I don't got nothing bad to say about LeBron. That's my Capricorn mm-hmm. twin, birthday twin. I'm exactly Me one either. year older than him. <laughs> and I like I like Capricorns that's black with that much power. I like Indeed. it. Indeed. Oh, damn right, damn right. Both power to him. Let's go, Cap. But he is the golden child of the NBA. Mm-hmm. As a cap killing should be. <laughs> now, speaking of LeBron, who's always in the media, the media is also an issue in this, though. Um, mm, of course, always. We obviously <laughs> talked about Kwame Brown the other week, but now you got, like, the reporters of frazzled Naomi Osaka so bad and mess with her, uh, like, anxiety and stuff that she don't even want to go to the French Open because she don't want to deal with the, uh, the media part of it. Like, Mm-hmm. Why do fans and media have so much control over the industry that they really are the consumers of? Like, 
the media don't got no story if the athletes ain't playing nothing. So like y'all can back off. Just report on the sport. Like just do that. We don't need the extra extra stuff all the time. Like sometimes you can just chill out and just t- tell me like what your actual perspective is on the game. I don't really need to know no backstories and who did like ain't none of my damn business. I feel and, like and, the- like if the girl don't want to talk to y'all, then just report on her tennis and leave her the fuck alone. It's other people out there that will talk to you. It's just stupid. I feel like the media just trying to fish for another Kwame. They done had the the touch in the the media and the um, the feedback, you know, could controversy yeah. sell. They so now they trying, they trying to fish <laughs> for the next Kwame. They better leave Dude, they they troll alone. That brother there, he mad, man. Like, he going mm-hmm. in on the industry. They better leave that black man alone. But you, you know I, what I realized? I mean, you know what I found out? Alone, like, hey, he's, he's, why may I would be, but he is speaking some, he is speaking truth to power in a way like, like what they going to do with him? He don't play no more. He's already rich. He got his own, like, what you going to, what you going to do? Like, you going to take it, from him? He got no endorsements. That nigga got minute. super chats. You can't take his super chats. Uh, I think he had that YouTube channel and that podcast for a minute now. Now I've been seeing people say, "Yeah, he's been doing this for a while," Man, or whatever. But this time they just ago. brought his name up. Yeah, it's like months ago he was doing it, and it seemed like he, you know, I don't know how many mm-hmm. followers he got from this, obviously, but the old jokes got some decent views on him. So it's, it seemed like he already had like a good following, and then now it's just like blowing mm-hmm. up more because now. They talked the, about the it. controversy. Like, yeah, the, the media picked up on it, but uh, mm-hmm. they need to leave Kwame alone, man. More respect. Mm-hmm. You know, we'll do something. Yeah, they need to leave Osaka alone because all these pictures I seen her in, and she looked like she about to like deck everybody in the face. Yo, like, well, but, they need um, to leave her alone because so, like, without Serena and her. Hmm. Not it's just Serena been so, showing support. Not just women's tennis, but tennis about to go drop off the map. Like them two, like Serena been carrying the sport of tennis every since Federer yeah. and them kind of. Oh, wow. Out. So you looking at a good 10, 11 years fair where it's been Serena Williams that make people watch tennis in general. And then you got Naomi Osaka that's now her predecessor. That's like the next thing that's making people watch. If, if Naomi mm-hmm. said, you know, I'm, I'm gonna keep buying out this time. I'm good. I, I'm rich now. I'm gonna just go ahead with my, my, my I'm gonna go live with my family and go live my life. They better find somebody quick because I don't know nobody else. We care about it to it. A lot of people mm-hmm. gonna take that off real quick. Like the casual fan that don't watch it rapidly like that's Well, peace out to tennis. And I'm going back over here to something else. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Serena's been showing support to Osaka, so. Indeed, indeed. Probably because she probably relates to it. She probably already been through everything she's going through right now or whatever, so. Yes, mm-hmm. her and Venus did. Of course, of course. They did go through a lot of that crazy media uh, weirdo stuff all their career, for sure. I think that's it's still Venus going through was it. like, I'm going to go mm-hmm. this live with my family. Ain't about to keep dealing with this. Yeah, and there's always a triple, yeah. triple neck Karen somewhere talking about Serena look bad or whatever. Same way to talk mm-hmm. about Michelle Obama. And the bitch that probably look like a whole. About, uh, let me be quiet. That one don't be talking about like a cow. Oh, look at mm-hmm. 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 Oh, yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. Oh, masters <laughs> of the universe, <laughs> villain right. looking face. Right. That should be against yeah. the law for that shit to be. So ugly sometimes, but they can talk about our black women. The job of the hut want to talk about Amazon. Jabba! <laughs> Jabba. 